The tree always blesses those who give tribute. Sense it. The tree is dying. Hurry, Harbinger. Ludomir? Listen to me. They will cut you down before you reach the gates. And what do you suggest? Wait for it to be over? Yeah, everything will be tickety-boo. At least bring a squad along. Who, eh? Radica's mob. Everyone's up their arse with the big fight. Besides, they'll just get in the way. Nah, I'll kill the Emperor on my own. You mean, die trying. You better pay your tab before you go. That seat's taken, mate. Ludomir, that's... It's the Harbinger. Ha! Ah, harbinger, my ass. Except, well, she matches the storybook pictures. Sort of. Ludomir! <laughs> harbinger. Please forgive him. Yeah, he doesn't... Well, if you are the Harbinger, what are you here for? Taking in the sights? <laughs> Before Rodentia's rubble, I suppose. What's that look for? I didn't cause this mess. <laughs> Thank Hendrik for that. Well, as much fun as this chat has been, I'm off. Big day. The Harbinger. Here. This will be interesting. Along, eh? You know it's a suicide mission, right? I grew up in the mountains, we climb. Why are we stuck here, sir? We'll miss the battle. Our job here is critical. No one is to disturb the Emperor.
you waiting for? Most Imperials believe their leader is in Rodentia right now. What with the invasion and all, Indrik went to a lot of effort to fool his subjects to keep his secret. But I know better. Whatever he's plotting here must be huge. Anyway, doesn't really matter to me. I'm here for one thing only. Make him answer for what he did. Lousy construction, eh? Monsters, Cyclops they call them. There's more than every day. They just pop in and kill anything on sight. Who taught you to fuck like that? Nicely done. My dad was the one who taught me. A stubborn old bear. If it had been up to my mom, I'd be river fishing day in and day out. Lousy construction, eh? I can smell Indrik's stinky feathers. This is the way.
fight. Come on, mate! Say you shock when the world is about to end or something. That can't be right, can it? It's Sindrick. He's done something. That's why you're here. That bastard. Turn back in time. In the name of Emperor Indrik, I command. Oh, just shut up and fuck. Noticed all those locked doors we passed. Fancy mystical seals. And this one? This door is special. It's where all the emperors are buried. Think of all the secrets they took with them. Still, unless you're close to Indrik, there's no getting through. Keep Indrik waiting forever, so um, good luck with your uh, exploration.
a vision from Vera's past. This is unexpected. I have much to tell you, so I need to bring you back to the Tree of Life. Terrible events leave traces in their wake. Harbinger, your search for the truth has created a bond between you and the priestess. You saw a key moment before her death. An omen that foretells Vodin's return. The vision confirms our fears. The godless priestess has suffered at the hands of the Emperor. But the question remains. Where is her soul? Harbinger, no more following your companions and hoping for answers. Now you will lead. When you choose your companion, you will show them the vision. They will know it to be truth. This is your omen sight power. With the insight it grants, your companions will help you pressure Indrik, so you may find the soul of the priestess. But who should be the first to behold the omen sight? Ludomir, Draga, or Ratika?
can sense it. The tree is dying. Hurry, Harbinger. General, give me two battalions and I shall capture the core for you. I do not doubt it. But those battalions would turn the battlefield into a graveyard. For them and the Rodentians both. Yeah. Intruder! I will protect you with my... Get out. Both of you. Now! That vision... There has to be a reason for what happened, Harbinger. You are the Harbinger, yes? Indrik. He may seem cruel, but there is always a reason behind his actions. That vision... That's the Temple of Yarborg, yes? There were engravings on the walls. Scriptures and patterns. I believe I can decipher them. Perhaps that will shed some light on this matter. General Draga! They're prison! Riots! Have the captain send a detachment to quell the riot. I have another matter I must attend to. Come, Harbinger. Let us investigate that vision of yours. Disturb the Emperor. The ritual has already begun. Indrik is here. I suppose it makes sense. Step aside, soldier. Please! My lady! I never thought studying the ancient scriptures would serve a practical purpose. In Pagaria, it is not a feline's place to study such things. Or lead armies, for that matter. No amount of study and training would have led to acceptance, had it not come from Indrik. Creatures did not dare tread these sacred halls until now. Cyphers are coming. Everyone, ready. Harbinger. Time is of the essence. I understand, but I fear for those soldiers. Guard up. That was not the last of them. Yes, General. Are you all right, 
Harbinger. After we have finished investigating, we should have a word with His Highness. I want to hear his side of the story.
Our emperors are buried here, under Yarbrough's benevolent watch. Our patron god has been gone for three centuries, but the faith in Pagaria still runs strong. Let us see if there is anything here that explains why Indric would want to murder Vera. Ancient history is inscribed here. You know of Yarborg, yes? Of course you do. My apologies. I ask out of habit, considering what passes for history in Imperial schools. Yarborg fought an epic battle against Voden. That's the Void Incarnate, if you believe such things. As the myth goes, 300 years ago, Yarborg, wielding his sword Cladden, defeated Voden in battle. Here, Yarborg appoints the first godless priestess to watch over the world, Vera's spiritual ancestor. Then he withdraws from mortal affairs. Wait, this is new. This seems to claim the sword Cladden is real, and surprisingly specific on its location. This is strange. Apparently, there is a ritual of ascension to become Yarborg's avatar. A firebird, the ritual requires an amber core. Once the transformation is complete, the avatar is then able to wield Yarborg's sword. This must be Indric's plan. There is an amber core in the temple, and the guards were talking about a ritual. This kind of power, however, it's not meant for mortals. Vera would have said as much. Vera must have tried to stop him. And the Emperor killed her. What a senseless tragedy. If this is true, Indric has betrayed the trust of Pegaria and its people. And he may be placing himself in danger as well. We must find Indric now. Come. My lady, I come with a message from His Highness. Where is he now? I do not know, my lady. When he heard you were here, he reacted strongly. He demanded to know why you were not in Rodentia, leading the army. He said, tell her to do her duty. Her judgment will come later. Then he departed. He just flew away. He must be after Cladden. And if these scriptures are correct, I know where he went. The scriptures mentioned a vault, here, in the city. That is where the sword Cladden is supposed to be. Can you imagine artifacts of the gods hidden in plain sight? Harbinger. If Indrik finds Cladden and becomes this, this avatar, how will this change him? The power may prove too much. And where will his loss leave our armies? Or the people of Pegaria?
at those feathers. Burnt. That ash and snow. This transformation into a firebird must be a literal one. This is the place. Look. The Imperial Seal has been breached. save them. But what were these soldiers doing here? A seal, not ours. Rodentian, our way is barred. We cannot enter, nor could Indrik. That leaves only one path. Not here. And no sign of Indrik either. Is Cladden in the other vault? And that Rodentian seal there, who placed it? It seems the Emperor had plenty of reasons to murder the Priestess. And following him to the vault raises new questions. Where did he go? And why was there a Rodentian seal so conspicuously out of place? Whoa! That 
was a properly dramatic way to inform. How did you do that? Actually, scratch that. Why did you do that? She's dead. Vera is dead. Do you know that? Of course you know. So then, you are here because... No? Sticking to the silence is golden approach? Okay, then it's up to me to fill in the blanks. You are here because you must need something from me. Ah, yes. You are patiently waiting, which means you know I can in fact help you. I will steer you to Indrik. But we must act together. He is cunning and a cruder villain than you can imagine. He destroys for his own gain, no matter the cost. He has taken countless lives, and now the godless priest is too? We have to nail him! Right now, everyone thinks he's at the Battle of Potentia. But I know better. Spies right under his nose. Follow me. I know a shortcut. This will lead us straight to Yarbog's temple. That's where the Emperor is. Everyone, the boss is back. Stop napping and... Where is everyone? This will lead us straight to Yarbog's temple. That's where the Emperor is. Everyone, the boss is back. Stop napping and... Where is everyone? Aren't you impressed? Whoever built this place has vanished a long time ago. Well, we embellished a bit, added levers and gates. We love our levers. A song for every door. This place is huge. It stretches for miles and miles. The Imperials have been around for centuries. Never found it. All we had to do was look. Imperials, too busy with their noses in the air to notice what's beneath their feet.
push, push, little cube. Don't you want to go up there? This is it. Yarbox Temple is just above. Looks like we have competition. Chase you all. Enemy! Die! Imperial scum! Synchronize your attacks! I'll take the left side! We're not done fighting yet! Who needs an army when we've got you? When we face Indrik, we have to act quickly. He's evil, cruel, but worse, he's a good liar. Thankfully, you saw what he did. No matter what, attack on sight, all right? Oh, God.
killed Vera and now Ludimir? Die, fiend! Ludimir brought it on himself. As for the priestess, well, you would know more than I. Ugh, stop it! I know your game! You have so many skeletons in your closet, you'd need an empire of closets just to fill them all! You want to speak of skeletons, Ratiga. Your defiance has made Redentia a graveyard. So now it's our fault? You're a murderer and a coward, Indrik! Hey! You, whoever you are, I will not forgive this aggression. Good. Keep him busy. I have a plan. Feel the flames of Yarbog! Not go down so easily. performance. Uh, let's not stay for his guards. They wouldn't understand. Good work back there, friend. Sorry about the whole temple collapse situation. For all their bragging, it turns out the Hagarians are lousy engineers. But don't worry, I know it's too many of our doors with that, please? Anyway, onwards! <laughs> oh, I was worried when the temple fell, but look, the crypt's intact. Guess Yarbog still watches over this place. This is where it happened. In the vision you showed me, right? Wait a minute. Did you know we would end up here? Did you do it so I would lead you here? I never thought I'd hate silence so much. Look, you're here for some reason, but I told you Indra killed Vera. You had your justice, so go! Shoo! Stop looking at me. You're always watching, but you can't see someone's nature, what drives them. You, what do you know anyway? You know, don't you? I've been a fool. Fine. I was here, with Vera. She asked me to protect her while she was studying these stupid walls. And that's what I did. It was a big mistake, and... Hmm. <laughs> 
You know what? It's your turn to get the silent treatment. You're so smart, you figure it out. You can't even begin to... Attica's confession. It raises new questions about the murder of the priestess. Questions that can only be answered by discovering where they escaped to. Hmm. It may be a coincidence, but the Rodentian seal you and Draga saw at the vault is identical to the one Rataka unlocked in the temple. <laughs> 